everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So today I'm going to be doing a movie list of movies I like to watch that were from the 1980s. This video is inspired because of Cobra Kai, strangely enough. Cobra Kai is a TV show on Netflix, which I want to say I actually recently discovered, but I've known about it for years. I just never thought I was actually going to be interested in it. Um, still not sure why. So the fifth season actually was just released about a week and a half ago. And uh, that inspired me to watch the entire series. Five seasons in less than a week. Must be some sort of a record, except for they are only, there's only 10 episodes in a season and this, the episodes are only about 35 minutes long. So it's not like it's hours upon hours upon hours. Well, it is technically hours upon hours of watching, but regardless, this movie is inspired by that show because of course, watching Cobra Kai, I just really, really wanted to watch the Karate Kids movies again. And then I was like, I just can't believe how great the 80s movies were. And then I got thinking, wait a minute, there's so many good movies from the 80s. Obviously, I need to do a list because I forgot how to appreciate them. And therefore, I want to share my appreciation of the 80s with you guys. All right. So before we start, I have a couple honor honorable mentions. And those honorable mentions are on the special list because although I do love them and I've seen them all multiple times, they were not loved enough to make onto the actual list with all the information and stuff. So in no specific order on the honoraries mention list, we've got Stand By Me, Roadhouse, The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Look Who's Talking, The tr Trilogy, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Grease. Now, I absolutely love Grease. I absolutely love The Breakfast Club, Roadhouse. Stand I love them all. That's why they're on this list, but they're just not as good to me as some of the ones that are on this list. And also before we go any farther, please leave your favorite 80s movie in the, the comments below. And whereas I usually say these are in no specific order, these are, these are in order of release date. So these are the oldest to newest, all in the 80s. Here we go. So number one, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, released June 11th, 1982, starring Henry Thomas, Drew Barrymore, and Peter Coyote. A troubled boy helps a friendly alien find his way home. Pretty simple. Great movie though. Um, I, I actually have like these little flashes of memories from this movie all the time. I watch this movie every year around around this time of the year just because I just I just love it. It's a really good movie and I always remember like there's something about the scene where Elliot stands on the chair. If you've seen the movie you know what I'm talking about but there's just something about that scene that I just see it all the time. Um, but yeah on Rotten Tomatoes this movie scored a 99% Way to go, Rotten Tomatoes, but only a 72% audience rating, which doesn't really make sense to me. Number two, we've got The Outsiders, released March 25th, 1983, starring C. Thomas Howell, Matt Dillon, Patrick Swayze, Ralph Macchio, Rob Lowe, and so, so many more. So many actors and actresses got their start off this movie. It's crazy. And the synopsis, a rivalry between two social class gangs escalates when a member of one gang kills a member of the other and um that's what it is the rotten tomatoes score is a 69 percent has an 82 percent audience rating so i guess this time i'm in favor of the audience rating all right movie number three we've got footloose released february 17th 1984 it did have a remake in 2011 which also was this movie is starring Kevin Bacon, Laurie Singer, Chris Penn, and Sarah Jessica Parker, as well as many, many more, as the room was, of course, filled with dancers. Um, and this movie is about a city-raised teen who is sent to live in a small town where music and dancing, dancing, dancing has been banned. Hmm. Crazy, right? This movie got a Rotten Tomato score of 52%. Luckily, the audience disagrees with a 71%. Thank gosh, it's a good movie. Um, and I've seen this, the remake as well, and I love it honestly just as much. Like I almost have to toss a coin to figure out which one I'm gonna watch because there really isn't anything I like more or less. Okay, movie number four, we've got The Karate Kid, released June 22nd, 1984, starring Ralph Macchio, Pat Morita, Elizabeth Shue, William Zabka and Martin Cove. And for the synopsis, a bullied teen is taught the martial arts by a karate guru. This is the first of a three film series. The other two were released in 1986 and 1989. This movie has a uh, Rotten Tomatoes score of 89%, but it, it's only brought down a little bit with a 
with an 82% with the audience. So they both, they're on the same page. That's the important thing. Movie number five, we've got The Goonies. The Goonies was released June 7th, 1985. And there's a second one in production to be released in 2027. That should be interesting, I guess. Um, this movie is starring Sean Astin, Corey Feldman, Josh Brolin, and Jeff Cohen, as well as many, many others. Not many, many, but many others, a few others. So in The Goonies, there's a group of young misfits who have found an ancient treasure map and have embarked on a journey to find the long lost treasure that belonged to a legendary pirate. So this movie had a Rotten Tomatoes score of a 76%, but the audience disagrees and gave it a 91%. Go Goonies. For movie number six, we've got Adventures in Babysitting, released July 3rd, 1987, but it was remade in 2016. This movie is starring Elizabeth Shue, Keith Coogan, Anthony Rapp, and Maya Bruton. In this movie, a babysitter gets stranded with the kids she's supposed to be looking after in the middle of New York City after she has embarked on a journey to find her friend who has been stranded in a bus stop. This movie had a 70% audience and Rotten Tomatoes score. So they are right on point with each other. And I agree, it's a very good movie. And I've watched it several, several times in my life um, from a very young age up till now. I watched it actually most recently in August. Very good movie and I really, really enjoy it. Okay, for movie number seven, we've got Dirty Dancing, released August 21st, 1987. Uh, there was a sequel also released in 2004 called Havana Nights. This movie is starring Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. While staying with her family in a resort during the summer, Frances falls for the sexy dance instructor. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes score of 71, but the audience overrules with a 90, so. Number eight, we've got Overboard, which was released December 16th, 1987. It was remade in 2018. I personally did not love the remake. I personally did not finish the remake. I personally turned the remake off about 45 minutes through. So the original is starring Goldie Hawn, Kurt Russell, and Ed Herman. Everyone loves Ed Herman, especially my Gilmore Girls watchers, but also Kurt Russell, I think was the heartthrob of the 80s, um, right next to Kevin Bacon and Ralph Macchio and all of them, because they all were heartthrob heartthrobs back then. Um, but anyways, after an heiress mocks and rips off a hired carpenter, she then suddenly has an accident and develops amnesia. The carpenter then decides to claim her as his wife and introduces her to the life of a stay-at-home mom and wife. This movie has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 46, but the audience disagrees with giving it a 74. Number nine, we've got The Land Before Time, released November 18th, 1988. This movie was the first of 14 films that were released between 1988 and 2016. This movie, I am not kidding, was my childhood. I have seen every single one of these movies at least a dozen times each. Not to mention my son, who was born in 2015, has seen every single one of them at least a handful of times. And I actually loved that the entire series had pretty much come out by the time he was born because I never had to watch the same one twice in a day, which was great because when he was into The Wizard of Oz, or when he was into Jungle Book, I had to watch those ones literally as soon as it ended, it would be restarted. I was very happy that he loved dinosaurs. <laughs> this movie is starring Gabriel Damon as Littlefoot, Candace Hudson as Sarah, Will Ryan as pa uh, Petrie, Judith Barcy as Ducky in the first one, and Pat Hingle as the narrator. Oh, in the first movie, the one that started it all, an orphaned young Longneck teams up with other young lost dinosaurs to search for their families in the Great Valley. It has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 64%, but the audience obviously disagrees and gives it a 79%. Thank you, audience. And the last, last movie on my list, would you guys like to take any guesses? I will tell you one hint. It was released in 1989. Anybody? Anybody? Leave your guesses in the comments. I'll give you 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two. Okay, um, so this movie is Steel Magnolias, released November 22nd, 1989. It's starring Sally Field, Julia Roberts, Dolly Parton, Shirley MacLaine, and so many more. And in this movie, we've got a small group of women who introduce a new beautician to their small Louisiana town, their lives, and their friendship. 
This movie was really, really interesting because it was another one of those movies that I had flashes of my entire life, but I actually didn't really know for sure what it was until about three months ago. Like it was a movie that used to come up, come on late at night on like the Disney channel. Um, well, for us, it was family, but it would come on. And I always remembered like an Easter scene, but I always remembered Julia Roberts and Sally Field, but I couldn't figure out what the movie was. And so one day, once I learned what IMDb was, I looked it up and I was like, Julia Roberts. And I found this movie and I actually watched it um, in July. And I actually remembered every scene. Like there wasn't a single thing that happened in this movie that surprised me because that's how well my brain held on to it. So I don't know what it was that linked me to this movie, whether it was Julia Roberts, because I loved her also in Hook when I was younger and obviously so many other movies, Stepmom as well. Um, or whether it was Sally Field or it was the diabetes. I don't know. Not, I'm not a diabetic. Just, just put that out there. But in my life, I always knew someone who was. Um, but yeah, so Steel Magnolias, amazing movie. Will make you cry. Have a tissue box on hand if you choose to watch it. Um, this movie had a 68% Rotten Tomatoes rating and a 89% audience rating, which obviously I have to agree with. So that there is my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget that starting on October 1st, I will be starting my vlog, vlogmas, my vlogtober uh, videos. And um, yeah, that's what I've got. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.